Hello, YouTube family. You guys, today's video will be how to bob and what this little thing is. What is this little clear piece? This little clear thing is called a bobbin. So it looks like this. Some of them, like you see how this one is flat. Some of them might be a little rounded. It will depend on the type of machine that you have. So what this little clear thing is, again, it's called a bobbin. It's multiple ways to fill it up. I'm gonna give you a simple way. Like I told you, it's multiple ways. Some people like to put their thread through the little hole or whatever. You don't really have to do that. Look, you can place it right here on top of your machine. You sit it right there, right? Now, you have to push it to the right to fill it. You have to push it to the left when you're done filling it and you're about to sew. So in order to fill it up, it has to go to the right, okay? So let's fill it up. This is my preference of thread. Everybody asks me what I prefer. I prefer the big spoons and 100% polyester. You guys, you see how you can see it? It's 3,000 yards on here. And it's 100% polyester. So now what I do is I'll hold like in the inside of the cone like this. And I'll wrap it around just a little bit in the center. You guys, it have to be in the center. I'll wrap it around just a little bit, right? And then, uh-oh, let me move my paddle. When I wrap it around just a little bit, I'm gonna hold right here and I'm gonna step on my paddle. Oh, so if it goes at the bottom, you gotta stop it because it has to stay in the center. You see how it went at the bottom? You don't want it to go at the bottom. So you wanna keep it in the center. Once you wrap it around enough so it'll stay locked in, you then hold your cone like this and you get it started. You see it? So now my cone, I'm holding it like this, and now I'm filling it up. It is other ways for you to do this, you guys. This is my way. To me, it's easy, super easy. And all you do is keep on filling it, and it'll stop itself whenever it's too full. Well, so we just gonna let it keep going. But even though you guys don't see the cone, all I'm doing is holding it like this. I'm trying to get it as close to it as I can, but I didn't want it blurry. So like I see it, but it's still, I'm still holding it the same way. But I want y'all to see me feeling it. Okay, there we go. You see how it's filling up? And listen, because if you listen, you're going to hear it start to stop too, okay? So listen. That means it's basically full. When it start to like slow down and make weird noise, then it's done. Then all you do is cut your string, right? Once you cut your string, you push it to the left and you lift it up. And now you have your bobbin. You see it? So now it's completely full. Make sure you keep this little piece to the left because you cannot sew if it's to the right. If it's to the right, 
It is for you to bob, to fill this little thing up. You cannot sew without this little thing. This little bobbin is what sews up underneath your clothes. So this is the bottom part, which is right here. This goes in the bottom of your machine right there. And depending on the type, depending on the type of machine you have, some people's is up here, which is a upper, and some people's is down here, which is a lower. So with the upper, it's a most of most of the machines are the same. Most of them ain't. But try to look for a little arrow. Like you see my little arrow. My little arrow is telling me to push this way. If I push this way, you see what it just done, right? So I'm, now I'm gonna take out my old bobbin. So let me show you up close how to insert it. So now this is the way that I do it. Everybody do it different. I sit my bobbin like that, like a Q to where the little thing is going out that way. And then you see this piece right here. I sit it inside of it. And then I put the bobbin behind this little piece only. You see this little metal piece? only that little metal piece right here so right here only only behind there and once i sit it right there i keep my string to the left and then i put this you see this part right here i put it right into here oh and it's done and now this is completely closed, ready to start sewing. So to open it, push it open, put it back down to close it. Again, I'm gonna do it one more time so y'all can see it, just in case you miss any little part. You cannot sew without this piece. This piece has to be closed. Your clothes cannot go through right here if this is not closed, okay? Do not lose this little piece. So we take this out. I sit it like a Q, remember? Now I'm gonna sit it inside of here and then I'm gonna put it by, I'm gonna hold right here to brace it and I'm gonna put it behind that little silver piece. Once it go behind the little silver piece, it's locked in. This piece right here, close it down, it's done. And now your machine, your bobbin is already done. What I um, advise you to do, if you use a lot of the same color, just go ahead and make you a lot of these. So when you run out of bobbin, you can just pop it back in. You don't gotta stop sewing to be able to go back and refill it up and do all that again. If you already got these pre-done, you can put them in a Ziploc bag. And then anytime you need it, you can pop it out. Or if you have this machine, you can open right here and store them in there. You see how I got some stuff in there? So you don't have to do the process from beginning to end every single time you run out of bobbin. And y'all want to match up your bobbin to your thread that you're using. Always make sure both of those match. And if you have any questions, make sure you comment below. Make sure y'all also join us on Instagram. We have a whole lot of knowledge there and a whole lot of deals. Um, we do offer in-person classes, virtual classes, the same way that you see how close up this is, is the same way that I can teach you how to make anything, okay? With our classes, you choose your date and time of your choice. Um, we also offer patterns. We have, um, vendors anything that you need to get started if you're a newbie it doesn't matter if you experience it doesn't matter what level you on um we here to help i will link my number below as well to where you will have my number to directly contact me if you have any questions if you're looking just to get started and just don't know where to start we offer free consultations as well to where i can help figure out what you're trying to do and put you together an action plan to get started to start your business um, you guys, I hope this video was helpful. Please, please take a second and just like it. Like it and comment. Um, 
and tell me what tell me what other videos that you guys would like to see and i hope you have a wonderful day oh don't forget tiktok instagram facebook everything across the board we're hitting agenda okay and i hope you have a wonderful day let me know if this was helpful for you if you already knew how to do this then great job if you didn't and you learned something new today give it a thumbs up i hope you have a great day